Eyewitness News at 6 starts right now. Well, thanks for sticking with us for Eyewitness News at 6. I'm Daniel Burbank here with meteorologist Dante Ricci. Dante, I went for a run today. It was super nice. And it's going to be nicer tomorrow, right? That's right. Nice and warm this afternoon here on Sunday. Got up into the 60s and not a whole lot of wind. And tomorrow also looking to be very warm. But come the middle of this week, Mother Nature will give us a reality check. Okay. Back to normal. Back, back to, to normal, days. right? Yeah, cooler <laughs> weather, but not too cold, at least for the next couple of days, which is a good thing. But with that, we do have the opportunity for a few rain showers. And we're looking dry tomorrow, but I can expect that conditions will be pretty good and clear by Tuesday, Wednesday. The only thing about it, though, is the opportunity opportunity for some cooler conditions and tonight is the start of that however it's mostly because it's going to be pretty clear outside that does lead to a little more patchy frost especially the higher elevated areas around West Virginia tonight but it won't last that long for Monday very warm and mild through the middle of the day rain showers do make their way in later in the afternoon and evening most locations staying pretty dry though into the mountains there could be some mixing of freezing rain and even some snow showers in the eastern mountains for your Monday evening into Tuesday, but the rain showers do clear their way out. At that point, that's where it gets a little bit cooler by the middle of the week. And our next storm system comes in later as well, Friday into Saturday. Look at the radar and satellite. Partly cloudy skies right now. A lot more cloud cover out there. So what that means is our temperatures will get cold tonight, but not as cold as they did Saturday night into Sunday. Starting to put some clouds in there. It does make for some better or not so significant cooling outside. And tomorrow, high pressure in the Carolinas. This is a region where we normally see areas of low pressure, which are storms, but with a high pressure system there, that reduces our storm chances for a couple of days, brings in some more southerly, southeasterly winds off of the Atlantic Ocean, and that is warmer, but also pretty dry in addition to that with some moisture. Not as dry as today, but still pretty calm as well. Fire risk still in effect for Monday. A moderate risk will continue as again a little more southerly wind in play does enhance the already dry conditions on the ground. So no burning of any kind there for tomorrow to start your week. So cooling down to the 30s, calm winds through the early morning tomorrow. Again, southeasterly in direction, just as I pointed out there, starting off pretty cool. 50s for 930 in the morning, but look at the quick warm up into the 70s by the afternoon. Notice a couple showers along an approaching cold front here Monday night and into Tuesday. Even by Charleston, we could have some showers here 930, 10 o'clock tomorrow. That front starts to push through and that does signal the end of our warmer weather conditions for the next few days. Even some snow showers will linger into your Tuesday in the eastern mountains. Most locations in the lower elevation staying dry, though, and not significant accumulation at that point as we will be into the 50s and upper 40s on your Tuesday. Middle of the week, looking much cooler, back down to the 20s perhaps for morning lows to start off Wednesday. So for tonight, again, clear to partly cloudy, putting some more clouds in there. So low 33 this evening, still pretty cold, so bundle up for your morning there on Monday. And the school bus forecast for the morning. Again, cold and frosty there, 34 degrees, so you'll probably want a quick scrape on the car in the morning to get things cleared out of the way. And by the afternoon, looking pretty good. Nice and mild there into the 70s for your day. Looking to have a high of about 75, mostly sunny skies and dry outside. Southeast blue winds a little bit stronger, but not all too gusty. Again, a nice day for outdoor activities, especially the morning and evening. Just bundle up in the morning and also a little bit more sun outside. So you definitely want to have the sunscreen if you'll be out and about at all during the afternoon hours. On to the seven day forecast. Again, it's getting very cool by the middle of the week, but near normal. 50s will be our temperatures and mostly sunny skies for Wednesday, Thursday. Perhaps a spotty shower though here and there, but most locations staying dry. Friday, that's our next rainstorm coming in. And there's some uncertainty as to how long the storm will stick around. At this point right now, we expect some showers to continue on Saturday. If it does stick around for Sunday, perhaps a few snowflakes mixed with rain in the morning before mostly cloudy skies in the afternoon. And yes, a little bit cooler below normal temperatures into the 40s.